um, uh, whether our extensions are actually a multiplication of the sensorium as opposed to an extension of an existing uh, body. I think that's, that's where he, uh, well, at least my interpretation of where he locates his difference with uh, McClellan. Right, and that could be found in the sentence that I was looking for. And I, I think what he thinks he's saying, what both of he's saying, is exactly what the phone's always saying. And you can hear it in Eric's talk that we just heard today. The recent uh, panel, he says, he says our human natures are changed, our crowd dynamics are changed. Yeah. The human body has changed. That, that's a, a sensible phone point. So, I really enjoyed this uh, replay of that, those dialogues by Wilford. I think it's a very good article. It makes some very important things, even in the media booth, we'll get to that in a minute. But the, uh, his discussion of the unconscious and the technology of cliche, it's like the essence of the point that's being made in the Teeth of the Chef and the Cliche Archetype uh, is developed in this article. Actually, it's the intro to the, to the book. But what's peculiar is that he thinks he thinks that he's got a bug to detect about being as fond of what Tom McClellan's saying, because McClellan didn't mean... Now, okay, the Catholic part of McClellan that said media don't affect the citizen of consciousness, maybe that aspect is what Wilford knows all too well, having been most present in McClellan and saw the Catholic part. He thinks from that view that McClellan is some kind of conservative, preserving the body image. Well, certainly McClellan's writing for McClellan doesn't mean that. McClellan is on, is in the avant-garde of the time to look at the change in body image. So, it's a curious, I don't know if you want to say at this point, it's very curious about how Wilford is not explaining the difference that the city he's pointing out very well. He's, he's not giving enough evidence of of what McClellan is missing in terms of what Wilford is trying to say about multiplication of the senses. I mean, they bury never these air 14 senses. They, you know, bury the people of the Philippines and of the Indian gang. So, um, did Barry could say it, and I don't know if it's in the TV or one of Barry's folks, but I'm sure McClellan would agree with that. And I, I bet you could find a quote somewhere. So, we have many senses, way more countless senses. Even though McClellan countered that, with the four cents model, you said we had four cents. You, you know about that, right? Yes, yes. Uh, it's like a museum since we're in the first time. He seems to jump between five cents and four cents, and then like uh, the uh, medieval saints idea of uh, ten cents, ten hours, and uh, he's uh, both tend to fix on any one uh, anthropology. But, um, right, but, but that's the tax. He is mining the tactile function of language. He's actually representing. Remember, there's a footnote, the little note that I found in the archives uh, when I was organizing it for Mrs. McClellan. He had a little note he was using on the media for the manager. And he said, This archetypal line is speech. You know, if you take these to tactile, McClellan always is showing the tactile display that speech represented. So that's why he jumps to four, he has to jump from four to five, or five to fourteen. He has to go from uh, unit of awareness to become the story pattern. He has to jump around. That, and, and so, you know, people say, well, he's kind of victim himself all over the place. No, no, he's not kind of victim. He's demonstrating the tactile in play. And you see, that's what he's doing. And that, to me, right now, the, the important part of the book, he's showing you know, Madonna says, I contradict myself. So what? But the book says, no, I don't contradict myself. I'm showing the tactile interplay of uh, multi-consciousness. It's not just me talking. I'm including what the person who I'm talking to would say back.